and here we are. All right. Hey, how are you today? This is Nick from Mecca Warehouse, and uh, I'm excited to shoot the very first video here in the warehouse. Uh, after the move, at least. Obviously, we shot some video during the move, right before the move. Uh, but this is my first video, and so I kind of want to post kind of like a warehouse update. We uh, we did a few a few of these just kind of generic update videos uh, back when everything was run out of the house, and I thought this would be a good time to give you kind of the, the state of the warehouse, so to speak. So uh, a lot's transpired in the last couple of weeks. Uh, we're obviously in the new warehouse. I am super excited about it. You might not be able to tell on my face because that's, uh, that's how these always get edited. But uh, we're here. All the shelves are set up. I've got you know everything kind of working. There's still a bunch of stuff to be done in terms of uh, data entry for uh, bin locations and what's in each bin, which will make uh, picking orders a little bit easier. Most of that's in. There's just a little bit left to be done. You might be able to see I've got a, a row of pallets back over here uh, that need to be checked in. So that's been taking a, a lot of time. We did get our first big-ish, really kind of small actually, restock since moving here uh, to the warehouse. By the time you see this, it was last week, but we got a bunch of kits in. We're going to have a ton more stuff in later this week. Uh, so look for Thursday, Friday. We should have a big restock announcement with uh, this giant bluefin order. That I'm working through right now, a lot of a lot of different stuff and uh, a lot of stock of a lot of these kits. So excited to kind of fill the shelves up, so to speak. Here, let's see what else. Another really exciting thing you might have saw some posts in our emails recently. Uh, we just got these in. These are our new uh, PVC patches, the logo patches. Uh, we've got the the blue kind of standard color one, as well as a subdued. Uh, OD green and tan that I think came out awesome. We actually probably should do a, a sticker in this color scheme because this, this is just pretty uh, pretty cool in my opinion. Love the uh, the colors on this. They're they're Velcro backed, so if you can stick them on on anything that has Velcro already. They also conveniently come with a pre-cut uh, bit of hook and loop here that you can you know, sew or glue onto just about anything. So if you wanted to be able to put a patch on a on a bag or hat or something that doesn't already come uh, with a hook and loop panel, you can do that pretty easily. These are, are $6 in the store. I'll, I'll make sure there's a link down there. These are really excited about these. These are just one of a variety of uh, new Mecca Warehouse branded stuff that we've got coming. Uh, we've got some big announcements coming in probably maybe around a month, hopefully a little bit less. And uh, that one I'm super excited to, to announce. I can't wait to get there. Uh, one, other, one other thing, you might have also saw this video last week, would be last Tuesday. Uh, we are uh, looking to hire specifically someone for media, so definitely check out that video. We would love to get somebody, I'd love to have somebody here in the warehouse with me who can help me shoot these videos, give me a little bit more flexibility on, on that and uh, help with some editing. So um, that'd be great. So if you're interested in that, definitely let me know. Check out that video for the full details on the position. I'm hoping to find somebody local and who's into Gunpla. If I can't, then I'll start looking at uh, maybe remote work or trying to find somebody who's local but not into Gunpla. But I think the... Uh, the position would be much better suited to somebody who's in the hobby or at least interested in learning about the hobby. The move has been interesting and one thing I, I wanted to kind of um, talk about a little bit briefly here is just some of the challenges because I think a lot of stuff on like social media everybody sees the good all the time we don't always necessarily see the hard stuff. The, the biggest challenge I've had so far actually has been an interesting one because this is a brand new space. I didn't really realize it until after we moved in, although I kind of should have figured it out. No one has been in this unit prior to us. We are the first tenant in the space uh, at this address. And so I can't actually schedule uh, post office pickups yet. Hopefully by the time you see this, it's resolved, but I'm uh, not holding my breath because it's been almost two weeks now and we still haven't had a post office pickup here which means that I have to drive everything that we ship uh, via the postal service 
I have to bring it to the post office myself, which is actually eating several hours a week worth of drive time and just extra frustration, which is not not the best. So that's that's probably the the biggest thing. We've had a few other minor hiccups. Overall, I guess I should say I'm I'm really happy with how things went and how things are. I wish my to-do list wasn't so long sometimes, but I'm uh, overall, I guess I'm happy. Uh, in terms of other challenges, while we do have a lot of space, there definitely is a little bit of Tetris still being played here. The biggest one is I've got a stack of pallets. So actually, if anybody is uh, watching this and you're in New Hampshire or near New Hampshire, and you've been looking for uh, a stack of pallets to maybe burn or build something out of, definitely let me know, because I've got it for you, uh, unless someone responds to that Craigslist ad and actually shows up. I guess, I guess I'll kind of leave you with uh, a big thank you. So I couldn't be here in this warehouse. I couldn't have this space and uh, attempt to grow this business without you guys, my customers. You guys who support me either by making purchases or just by following, liking content, commenting. I really appreciate you guys, all of you. You have uh, you've made what has transpired so far possible. You've allowed me to radically change my life. Going from an engineering job, being eternally frustrated and burnt out lately, to now being here selling products based around a hobby that I love and engaging with, with you guys. This has been transformative to me and, and I can honestly say I don't think I've been happier than I am right now. I've got nothing but gratitude for the ability to do, to do this rather than, than my nine to five. Uh, time will, will tell whether this is lucrative enough in the long run to uh, keep me sustained financially. And, uh, but growing this business and uh, trying to make this happen has been, been a great thing for me. So, so once again, thank you. I really appreciate your support so far, your ongoing support. And uh, please, please let me know how I can help you uh, more. If there's stuff that you're trying to find, if there's a service, if there's anything related to Gunpla I can help you with, please let me know. I would be more than happy to uh, either help you get whatever it is you're trying to look for or help point you in the right direction. What information do you need? What can we do to, to make your experience better? So thank you for watching. Uh, if you got something from this video, if you enjoyed it, please, please hit that like button. It really helps me uh, to help get more people to see this video. Definitely subscribe if you haven't yet so you can see future videos. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.